1995 Skull Bandit Copper World Classic was a pickup truck race held on February 5, 1995 at the Phoenix International Raceway in Avondale, Arizona. It was the first event of the 1995 NASCAR Super Truck Series, the first season of what is now the Camping World Truck Series. The race, sponsored in 1995 by Skull Bandits, was the first edition of what is now the Lucas Oil 150. Ron Hornaday Jr. of Dale Earnhardt, Inc. won the pole position, while Mike Skinner of Richard Childress Racing won the race. Background Phoenix International Raceway, which opened in 1964, began hosting NASCAR Winston Cup Series races in 1988. The track is 1 mile long, the banking in turns 1–2 and the backstretch is 10–11 degrees, while the dogleg and turns 3–4 or 8–9 degrees and the front stretch is 3 degrees. The truck series was planned in 1991 and officially created in 1994. During the year, seven exhibition races were held and broadcast by TNN under the Winter Heat Series banner. TNN returned to cover the Copper World Classic. Regarding Phoenix being the site of the series' inaugural race, Ron Hornaday stated, "...Phoenix fits right into a lot of these drivers' hands because they all came from short tracks." The race was one of five held for the 18th annual Skull Bandit Copper World Classic. Various drivers were attracted to the event, including Cup Series drivers Ken Schrader, Jeff Bodine and Terry Labonte, the latter having won the Cup race at Phoenix in 1994. Other drivers included off-road racing champion Roger Mears and former National Football League head coach Jerry Glanville. In the field of 33 drivers that competed in the race, Hornaday, Mike Skinner, Joe Rutman, Butch Miller, Jack Sprague, Rick Corelli, Bill Sedgwick, Scott Legasse, Toby Butler and Sammy Swindle would eventually compete in all 20 races in the 1995 season. Qualifying Ron Hornaday won the pole with a lap speed of 123.665 miles per hour, 199.020 kilometers per hour. Ken Schrader, 122.695 miles per hour, 197.458 kilometers per hour. Terry Labonte, 122.324 miles per hour, 196.861 kilometers per hour. Johnny Benson Jr., 122.266 miles per hour, 196.768 kilometers per hour. And Joe Bessie, 122.220 miles per hour, 196. 694 kilometers per hour rounded out the top 5 topic <inaudible> race a crowd of 38000 attended the race ron hornaday led the first 23 laps of the race during that time span, two caution flags were flown, on lap 4, Troy Beebe spun out in turn 2, and on lap 17, Gary Collins spun in turn 4. On lap 24, Terry Labonte looked the lead, and after a lap, the third caution occurred when seven trucks Toby Butler, John Bornman, Bob Keselowski, Steve McEachin, Bill Sedgwick, Jerry Glanville and TJ Clark crashed in turn 4. Labonte led until lap 29, and Hornaday led for three laps. On lap 33, Mike Skinner claimed first, leading for 29 laps. Skinner lost the lead on lap 61, when a yellow flag for debris was flown. Labonte reclaimed the lead during the period. On lap 72, Sedgwick, Keselowski, and Bob Strait spun in the dogleg, bringing out another caution. Five laps later, the final yellow of the race was flown when Glanville, Kerry Teague, Scott Legasse, and PJ Jones crashed in turn four. When the green flag waved with two laps to go, Skinner retook the lead from Labonte, and held off Labonte's attempted charge to win by .09 seconds. Ken Schrader finished third, followed by Joe Bessie, Jeff Bodine, Jack Sprague, Butch Miller, Joe Rutman, Hornaday and Johnny Benson. Six drivers did not finish the race, Rick Corelli engine, Walker Evans valve, Troy Beebe suspension, Butch Gilliland engine, Clark and Bournemouth crashes.
Topic Results Topic Race Results Equals 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 standings after the race